What's going on guys and welcome back to another game analysis video. In this video, my team FC Tulsa is taking on Sporting Kansas City 2. This is like our seventh game of the season. Last time we played these guys, they absolutely killed us. I think the score was four to one, if I remember correctly. So this is kind of like a game of trying to get revenge on that because that last game was embarrassing. Anyway, in this game, I'm playing right back. I play right back the entire game, which is my preferred position. And I think this is my first game at right back all season. So I'm pretty excited for this. I'm excited to play in my natural position. And here we go. We start off with the kick. We're in black and Sporting Kansas City is in light blue. Here's my first touch in the game. Ball bounces out to me. Immediately, I, I look at Kembo here to try to pop it over but it's the first couple seconds of the game. I try to pop it up here towards Rodrigo. Try to open up my hips. They don't open up as much as I want. Bounces back to me and then just head it down to Eric and we keep possession here. And then Eric ends up getting fouled. So first couple touches immediately into the game. Now next play, their left back starts driving forward. He takes a big touch right here. As soon as he takes that big touch and is ahead of him, this is like a 50-50 ball. I need to step out and get it. I need to challenge this. I need to go in hard and try to win this. I can't back up and let him out there. So I just go through the ball, win that one. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't maintain possession of the ball after that. Now we win the ball over on that left side. We're expanding. I'm getting high and wide. The ball is clipped out to me. It's very, very high. Uh, and it's not like a driven ball where I can just take this into space. You can see the defender is kind of already getting ready for that. I bring it down, put my body in between the defender and me, and just keep the ball and pass it back to my, uh, my center back. Now, as soon as he breaks that line of these two players, I'm following this up as being like that supportive role because it's going into somebody. There's going to be a man right on his back, and now I'm going to receive that ball and play out of it. Nice little one-two here. Now, immediately, I think here it's starting to get tight. I try to play to Rodrigo here, but I think I can open up with my left foot and drive centrally and try to combine over here with uh, with Dario and Lucas. Um, it's not the worst ball in the world to try to play to Rodrigo. It could have been cleaner, but yeah, I think there, open up, drive inside. Now I receive the ball out from my center back. I'm looking forward. You can see Rodrigo already starting to make a, a checking uh, run right here into this space. I'm just looking right at him. I'm seeing that he's going to be open, play into him on the opposite side of where that pressure is, and he does a good job just to, to earn the foul right there. Now here's a throw in. I'm looking, and I'm going to play it right into somebody who's checking, right into Kemba who's checking. Now here... I start to see this space and I start to drive forward, but you can see it. There's not much space after that. I need to take a perfect touch. All the space is over here. I should have played it in Kembo, and he could have opened up and played over to Jorge. Or even here, once I take my touch, you can see Rodrigo pointing. I need to drive that ball out to Jorge here. Instead, I try to do too much. I try to dribble there and then end up getting the ball stolen from uh, from me. And then it's a dangerous counterattack here. Bradley does well to defend. Uh, but that could have been easily have been a goal there. And I just need to be smart. You know, my teammates are saying, come on, play simple, be smart back there. Uh, so that was my mistake. And then immediately from that goal kick, uh, Sean, our goalkeeper passes it into Kembo Kibata, the, the center mid, and then we end up losing it right there. So, I mean, from one mistake, there comes the goal. Here comes the ball in the Kembo, kind of like a blind turn, kind of a dangerous pass though, to be honest, uh, quick counter attack. And then uh, there's not much that anybody can do after that, those couple mistakes. Um, so then just like that, we're down 1-0. It's not a, the best start, especially after the last time we played him. We went up 1-0 and then just got killed. Uh, so, you know, we really need to turn around and attack better here now. So here's the kickoff. Ball comes out to me. Tons and tons of time. I In my head, I'm like, okay, I made a mistake. Let's play simple. Eric's checking. I'm just going to play right into Eric. Not, not, try to get back into the groove. Try to get some momentum. Ball comes back to me now again. And again, I'm thinking, okay, just play sharp. Play back to your center back. Get some touches and get back into the game. And then we can start being aggressive and going forward again. So now again, another throw in. Ball comes out to me. A little quick. I'm trying to do a one-two with Rodrigo here because this guy's starting to cut off the line. So I pass, pass right into Rodrigo and then continue down the, the line into this space. Rodrigo does well here. It's tight, tries to play in, into me uh, and earns a uh, throw in for us. And then here now I'm trying to go and break that line, play into Marlon. It's a good ball. And then he attacks and then uh, tries to get a little penalty there. The ref wasn't buying that one though. Uh, next play, next play on the ball. 
the ball is going to come into my center mid. As soon as it's coming to my center mid, he's looking for it immediately, but all the space is out wide. I'm recognizing that, and I'm just flying forward into this space, getting high and wide, and trying to stretch out this defense. I get the ball now. I start to drive. I do. You can see I'm looking at where his body angle is and where his positioning is, where the space is. He really is cutting off my right foot. Space is inside. I cut inside and play it right back into Eric. I think that's a good ball. I think he's trying to combine there. It's a good idea, uh, but just doesn't work out for us. That's a simple back pass, comes back to me, and then now we're switching over the point of switching the point of attack over that left side. Uh, now here, as the ball comes into my winger, I can't fly forward because if I do, this overlapping guy is going to run into the space that I'm leaving. And Marlon and me are both going to just run into each other. I have to trust my teammate Marlon to come back. He has a great job to win that ball. And now I have the ball. You can see Kembo's open in this pocket of space. I'm just going to one touch that to him, tell him to turn, and then we can build out of it there. Sean with a big goal kick flicked on by Marlon here. And then the ball is going to pop right out to me. Now here... Immediately, I kind of like look over to Eric to start to head the ball, and this guy starts to anticipate that. And this is where I talk about anticipating the player, anticipating it. I then head it opposite. So it's almost like just a little fake. Looking at Eric to head that, I start to see his movement. I change my mind last minute and head it to uh, the next player there. Bradley Bourgeois, our center back, has the ball. I'm driving forward. He does a good ball into Marlon, who passes out to me. I'm going to take my touch forward inside. All I'm seeing, I just pick my head up real quick, and I see Dario kind of just running in between these two big center backs. So I just want to hit this low, on the ground, hard, and uh, see what happens. It's a decent ball. gets a little bit of a deflection. But there, I think that's the right decision there, to hit that low and hard. Again, one-on-one. -on -one. This is one of the balls that I've really been working on, like the early ball. So Dario's making that back post run. I think I could even hit a hard ball driven on the ground with the inside of the right foot into that space. I try to drive forward, do a little body faint. It's good. It's defended well, and it's out for a, a corner kick there. Now here, we can see we have numbers forward, but we're applying a ton of pressure. I need to be high, and I need to be up on this winger so he can't just turn. If all of our numbers are forward and pressing, I need to be on the front foot, ready to press. So as soon as that ball comes into my winger, I'm right on his back, forcing him backwards, applying a ton of pressure, and just forcing something. And it forces a, a throw in for us, an error on their part, and now that whole pre that all that pressure worked out for us. Um, ball is going to pop out to me from Rodrigo. I got tons of time and space. Again, I think this is a great time for an early ball right over Marlon's head here into this space. You can see Dario calling for it. This is something I've, I've really been working on the last couple um, weeks of training, and I think it's actually been working pretty well. And I'm just noticing it more as I do these game analysis videos. Now, next play, ball comes into me from Bradley Bourgeois. Tons of time and space. I'm looking forward. I'm looking at Eric. It's a little congested right in the center. The space is here. I'm going to drive inside into the space to just kind of move the defense around. As I drive in, change my mind. I know Marlon's call calling for it now. Play it out to him. And it's just too congested on this right side. We've tried it. Nor Rodrigo's here, but still, it's too congested over here. I need to open up, turn, play over that left side, play into Kembo, tell him to turn. And now we're out over on this left side where there's a ton more space space and we're getting the defense moving here the ball just come a through ball into me bradley's telling me tons of time i take a turn i'm opening up i'm looking up the field and then just playing my center back and getting back in my position high and wide um eric passes me out the ball now once again you can see this winger just completely starting to cut off the line um so i need to attack into that space that he's leaving instead of going into that i just take a little bit too big of a touch there and it forces me to make a quick uh, more of a quick decision on that pass than I need to, but I think that's the right decision to drive in there and the right decision to look to Dario just needs to be cleaner. Eric's going to pop right into this space right next to the referee. I'm just opening up and playing him into that space, telling him, you know, man on, and then uh, we're switching it there. Now with this play, the ball's going to come into my winger. I'm not tight enough where I'm forcing him backwards, but I'm still tight enough where even if he turns, I'm going to make it really difficult on him. So I'm forcing him wide, making it difficult. He tries to make me, but I'm in a good position to stop that. And then uh, now this play, he actually does make me. Ball goes in the same player, megs me here. Great meg, but it's that famous quote of like the ball can go by you or the man, but not both. And so the ball goes by me. So now I'm going to put my forearm right across his chest and just push him, make it difficult. And funny enough, the ref didn't call that. It should have probably been a foul. Um, but, you know, I just didn't let that man go by me easy there. So even though you get megged, it's just kind of like not allowing both to go by you. Then great play from Lucas Coutinho into Rodrigo da Costa, and then da Costa has a, a very tidy finish with the left foot to the far post. So now it's tied 1-1. Great job from Lucas here in the tight 
area just to get out of that, push forward, draw a man, play into Rodrigo, and then a, honestly a pretty difficult angle there. And Rodrigo does a very good job just to slot that right in that pocket. Awesome. Perfect. So now it's 1-1. And uh, we really want to keep this going into halftime. Now, here's my next play on the ball. Ball goes to Marlone. There's tons of space up here for an overlap. I'm doing the overlap. I'm calling for it. Marlone plays me a great ball in. And I'm just peeking my head up and seeing where the black shirts are. I'm seeing a lot of guys in the far post, kind of like an overload in the far post. So I put some a uh, little bit of air underneath that. And I look for that far post for Coutinho. I think that's a great ball in there. Uh, but we just can't get on the end of that. Here's some great pressure from uh, our front few guys, front four, front five guys. We ended up winning the ball here. Tons of time now. I'm starting just to drive in that space. As I get the ball, I'm looking forward. And I'm just like, look, we just won it. Couple minutes left in the half. Uh, let's swing the ball around. Let's have some possession here. And uh, let's see if we can build up to a nice goal here. Uh, we're swinging over to this far side. Again, we're looking forward. Nothing's on, playing it back. Very patient build up here, which I love. Back into Jorge. Corrales comes back in. Honestly, here I think we can swing the ball out to the right side here because you see all the numbers over on that left side. But still, you know, we make a decision to go back on that left side. Jorge now plays right into Kembo. Very look how patient it is. Everything's one, two touch, looking just for the right opportunity to attack. Ball comes in Dario, and then here it is. We break a line. Dario starts to drive in. He cuts inside now. Great ball into Rodrigo, and then almost in the same exact spot. Uh, slips the ball into just past the keeper. And then I think that goal is actually Marlon's. I think he got a touch on it right before it could go in. So Marlon ended up scoring here. But another great, great play, great buildup, great attacking sequence, great finish, and then another great finish right there. <laughs> so there we go. Before the half now, 2-1. to one. Uh, Fantastic response from that early mistake from us. So perfect. Now again, uh, the last time we played these guys, we were up 1-0, and just before we went into the halftime, uh, we ended up giving up a goal, and it was 1-1, and it killed us. So here this is like the 48th, 49th minute here, just before we're about to head into um, the locker room for halftime. I received the ball, and in my head, I'm thinking, just don't do anything stupid. So I'm just going to pop this forward into the space, do a little bit of game management here, keep the ball up there, wind out or finish out that clock. And uh, I think that's a good decision there. I mean, could we have kept possession? Yeah, we had tons of numbers back here, but now we're gonna throw it in and then there's halftime. So now we're gonna go into this halftime, two one up. I'm not saying that like I didn't have the confidence to play back there when, it, you know, even just to go back to the goalkeeper, but it's kind of one of those situations of like risk versus reward. And it, you and these little tiny moments, once you go down one, one, um, the last game, and this that was just what was in my head. Here's the stats from the first half. We dominated possession, which is awesome, 58%, almost 60% possession, and we had more shots and more shots on target. So fantastic half from this or from us. I think that that score of 2-1 is, is well-deserved. And We just had that one mistake where we passed it right into the center, kind of did a blind little turn, and then uh, ended up giving up a goal there. But I think it was a good, very good half from us. Very happy about that. Now, here is the start of the second half. Uh, Sporting Kansas City 2 is going to start off with the ball, and they're just going to play it back and keep possession here. Here is my first play in the game. 46 minutes. I'm just going to do a throw-in, early throw-in, little 1-2 with Marlon. Marlon decides to turn out, and then great slipped-in ball into Eric Bird, and then corner kick. So that was my first play of the second half. Now Sean Lewis has the ball. He's going to clip in a great ball out to me. I'm right past the winger. Here I think I could have taken that forward. Um, but you know, I bring the ball down, play it into the, uh, the center mid and we maintain possession here. Here's just a kind of running back one V one defense, getting back, not fouling, just forcing him backwards here, letting, giving us time to get back and defend that. Now, Kembo is a great switching ball out to me. I'm just going to take my touch forward and I'm going to play into Marlon who's high and wide here and then provide support. Marlon gets himself a little stuck here, uh, but he does well. He wins another throw in for us. Bradley Bourgeois now, center back, has the ball, plays into Rafa Ayagua, who's fresh in. He just got subbed in here, and then um, he turns. Great ball out here, and this is perfect. Into the striker, back to the number 10, and then I'm high and wide, screaming for the ball now. Lucas sees that. He does a great ball out to me. Good combination here. I'm just going to take my touch forward. Immediately, I'm just seeing 3v2 right here. And in my head, I'm like, everybody's running in. Just whip this ball in hard, and we'll see what happens. Just a, a, a driven, whipped-in ball here. I think that's a good ball. It actually almost was an own goal there. I think it went off Rod. I'm not I'm not 100% sure which center back that went off of, but 
great ball there, I think. Uh, ball comes into me, and then just playing back to the center back here, and then we're just keeping possession of the ball. Here is one of my favorite plays, best plays of the night, I think. And it's not going to be very appreciated unless you're a defender. But 50-50 challenge here. I'm leaving this space, leaving this guy wide open, so I need to win this. I'm just going to just slide through the ball, win that. And then it's a quick counter into Rodrigo. Rodrigo plays into Rivas here. Cheeky little Meg from Rivas. We're through. Now it's 3v2 here. And then slipped into Dario. Dario actually has a, a, a rough touch on the baseball diamond. Uh, but he earns a penalty. And there we go. Amazing. I mean, just from the, the tackle back there, quick transition, and then we're 3v2 and behind. And uh, just unfortunate on the, on the pitch. The pitch is so bad with the baseball infield. But, uh, but still, I mean, Dario does a very veteran move here. It's, a, it's not the best touch. But as you see that guy starts to slide in, he moves and just moves in front of that ball. So that guy's going to foul him versus just, uh, just sweep through the ball. So very veteran move from Dario Suarez. He puts away the penalty. And now we're up 3-1 in the 62nd minute of the second half. Beautiful. Calm, cool, and collected. Finish there right down the middle. Just waits for the goalkeeper to move and then just puts it puts it home. Now here's my next play on the ball. Again, ball comes into my winger, and I'm just putting a lot of pressure to make it difficult so he can't just turn and drive at me. I'm even a little late here so he can turn a little bit, but still I'm there just to make it difficult for him and, and get a very tight um, area for him to play. And it works out, bounces off of me, and we end up keeping possession there. Now here I'm starting to drive forward. I want to play into Marlon, so I'm going to drive inwards, making this fullback have to kind of suck in a little bit, watch the movement of this fullback as I drive in. And then now there's more of a passing lane out wide for Marlon. I ping it into him. It's a great ball in into the box. It's unfortunate we can't get on the end of that, but great ball in into the box. Here's after a, uh, a corner kick, just running back. And then as I get it, as I look forward very briefly, just see a ton of blue shirts here. It's tight and congested. We're completely out of shape after a corner kick. So it's okay, play it back. Let's get back into shape. Let's move around and we'll build, build from here after this. Next play on the ball, it's over here on this far side. Sporting Kansas City kind of drives it right in here. And then as this guy takes a big touch, I go in for a hard challenge there. I, I thought it was shoulder to shoulder. I was kind of mad that it was called for a foul. I thought I got the ball. It was a very, very hard challenge, but I, I thought it was fair. Uh, but the ref didn't agree there. And then here, just winning the header. And then in the if you guys saw the last game against Kansas City at Kansas City, I had a play just like this. Ball comes in. I'm heading it out, and I headed it right towards the Kansas City defender. So here I'm putting a ton of air underneath that, getting that high, getting that up the field so that we can collect the second ball. And, you know, again, learning from the mistakes. That's why this game analysis stuff is so important. And then look at this play. Beautiful chipped in ball to Rodrigo. Pop, pop, in behind. And then Joaquin, far post is open, just slots that away. So now we're up 4-1 in the 72nd minute. Love that play. This play was actually featured on 4-3-3, the Instagram page. Just that tight little combination play between Rivas and Da Costa. Beautiful play. Uh and then all the comments were all about the pitch <laughs> being terrible, which, you know, fair enough. The pitch is pretty bad right over here. Now, next play, kind of a crossed-in ball. Here, once again, as a header, I need to head this ball out to the corner of the 18. That's like my target area. I can't head this centrally. It's going to be dangerous there. Head this high and wide. And then uh, our player, Stanley Ogunbar, gets, it gets behind that and just clears that out. Now here, providing a little bit of pressure, just 1v1 defense, making it difficult off of me for a corner kick, but good, solid defending there, I think. Um, now, ball comes into my guy once again, providing a lot of pressure, making it difficult, but here I, I overstep, and I think he's going back. He does a good body feint here and just cuts it. I try to foul him there, but he gets behind me, and then I'm just recovering. We end up fouling him there, but that's just me being a little bit overzealous, thinking he's going to go backwards there. Winning the ball off the throw-in, though. And then uh, we just try to uh, pop that ball forward. Now, next play. Here's my next play on the ball. Uh, Dario passes into Kieran. We're starting to swing it wide. Rivas starts to drive. I'm doing overlapping run. Rivas is driving forward. He plays it out to me here. I'm taking a touch. I'm just seeing a, a couple. I mean, if you look at the size of their center backs and our players in the box, I need to drive this in hard and low. So I'm just thinking in my head, drive it in. It's right to the near post. It's difficult, but I think, you know, I want to drive it in low there to those big center backs. Again, just defending there, winning the ball, and then playing out of it. Uh, now as we start to near the end of the game, it's a lot of game management, trying not to get scored on here. 86th minute, trying to finish out this game and get the three points. 
ball comes out to us. Now, here's the importance of triangles. So bing, 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 here's a triangle. Bradley's going to play into me, so it's going to go inside, outside. Immediately, the next pass should be inside right into Ayagua. And then once again, now it goes inside. We're going back outside. And it's getting a little tight, so now we'll swing it out. So good combination play, good keeping the possession there, and then good recognition of getting a little tight and trying to build out. And then unfortunate, Bradley underhits that ball there. Uh, and then it's just a quick counter and a finish. And at this level, at the professional level, mistakes are just completely eaten up. Like if you make a mistake, most likely it's going to end up in a dangerous attack and very likely going to be ended up for, for a goal. So it's unfortunate with Bradley there. I mean, I think it's the right idea. He just underhits it slightly. And then quick counter attack within two passes now, it's four to two. So that's just, it's just you have to make so few mistakes at the professional level here. Um, or attempt to. <laughs> Uh, and then here's just some defending. Here's some headers. This last 10 minutes was grueling as a defender. We just felt like I was, I felt like I was just wave after wave of attack, getting just completely just ball and behind, headers, running, defending, 1v1 work. It was very tiring. And then here, top of the box, Rafa comes in. It's a good little shield from the Sporting Kansas City defender experience play there. But Rafa kind of fouls him. We end up getting a free kick right on the top of the box in like the 90 something minute. And then Tyler Freeman with his second goal of the night to make it 4-3. So not good, uh, obviously. We went from being up 4-1 in like the 85th minute to now 4-3. Just need to finish out games better. And it's just a couple mistakes. You know, a foul on top of the box, and that's a goal. One under hit pass out to the, uh, to the left back and a goal. Um, but we just need to clean up those mistakes if we want to finish up game, finish out games a little bit more or a little bit less stressfully. Now, ball in behind. Uh, here, it's last minutes of the game. I'm just trying not to foul. Don't foul him, but I need to keep him wide. I kind of let him turn inside here and drive into the box. We do have numbers here, so it's not the most dangerous thing in the world, but I just need to do a better job keeping him wide. He's off balance. He's shooting that. I'll take that, but it'd be much, much better if I kept him wide there. Um, and then last couple minutes of the game, Sean Lewis hits out the goal kick, and then uh, that's it. We win 4-3. As you can see, I'm collapsed on the ground. This last last half, the second half, was extremely tiring. But we got it. 4-3 win, three points. Got a little bit of uh, vengeance on Sporting Kansas City for killing us the last time we matched up with them. But a uh, very eventful game. Tons of goals scored. If you let guys look at the possession, very good from us. I'm happy with this. You know, even though we had less shots than Kansas City, we had more shots on target. We had almost 60% possession. I think that's a very good game stats uh, from us there. Takeaway from the game is, is literally just clean up the mistakes. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Peace.